Watch the full video. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy TT and John. I am back with another video. In today's YouTube video, man, I has I have a pros and cons on having dreadlocks. Okay, if you guys don't know, I done had my dreadlocks for three years now. I've been growing them out since I was in like in eighth grade, and I still have them. You feel me? So, as you can tell, that the pros have outweighed the cons for me personally. You know what I'm saying? But in some cases, some people have cons that overweight the pros. And in this video, I just want to let you guys know some of the pros and cons that I personally have, and I believe that are true. Um, you can also do research on these pros and cons if you want to get dreads and you don't know if you want to because of the pros and cons. But these are the pros and cons that I brought out for the video. I got five pros and five cons. Um, I think I'm gonna start off with the cons. Cause I know in school, in school, I used to always want to hear the bad news before the good news. Like, the teacher used to always come in with that corny ass shit every day. Class, do y'all want to hear the good news or the bad news first? Like, come on now, like, who want to hear that shit? You already know we want to hear the bad news first, then we want to hear the good news. So, we gonna start with the cons. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. With the first con I have on my list is, I ain't gonna lie, dreads can be expensive at times. Okay, um, that's the number one con for me. Uh, it can be very expensive, um, especially if you're a person that wants to get your dreads done a lot. It's a lot of people that want to take a lot of pictures. You might be, you feel me, you might be somebody that's like a fashion icon or something like that. So if you like a celebrity, I know celebrities, they get their shit done like every month. Like if you're getting your retos every month, that's cheese, bro. Because most people tax about at least 85 to damn near 120. You feel me? Depending on what you get. Probably even 200. Depending on where you at. If you like in LA or some shit, you then are paying like 500 for a retwist and a wash and then style and you get like, because it's, it's, it's always an add-on to get a style. It's always an add-on to get a wash. You can't get that shit included, bro. You feel me? So the retwist alone is 85, most likely. The wash usually gonna be like 15 to 20, and then the style gonna be the same. So you gonna be then they're paying like 140 for a retwist, especially if you want a good quality retwist. Cause you can go to somebody on the street or somebody at their career and they can do a whack ass job on your shit. But obviously you want the best quality, so it could be expensive. The next con I have is it can make you hot. It can make you hot, okay? It's the summertime. Um, personally, I like to hoop, so this is why I put it on the list. It can make you very hot. It can always, it can be in your way because, like, I ain't gonna lie, I can't. Like when I'm hooping and shit, it is, it's always in my way. You feel me? And it, it makes me, I, I be sweating, and it just make me sweat more. Cause I got just more, I got more baggage on me. You feel me? Just more shit on me, um, more shit touching me and shit like that. So it can definitely make you hot. That's why I recommend you put it in styles. That's why when I do hoop. I wear a headband and I put my hair up in a ponytail usually or I do some or I have my shit in braids or something like that. Have braids. I ain't gonna lie, for the summertime, I'm paying, I'm having all braids. I ain't gonna lie. I'm finna have my shit just braided to the back. Cause I'm getting tired of my shit being in my face. Can't even fucking eat. I should've put that on my list, but I didn't put that on my list. But that's another one I got is like, when I'm trying to eat and shit, like I be having like ranch and shit in my hair. Cause like, you feel me? I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you <laughs> We don't care. All right, guys, with the next con I have, they can be itchy, okay? And it's not a bad thing. It's not a nasty thing. That don't mean, you're, that don't mean, you're, that don't mean your hair nasty. It's natural, okay? It's natural for your hair to itch, okay? Um, but your hair can definitely itch. Like, I ain't gonna lie. It's been times that I got a retwist and, like, maybe a day or two after I go hoop and I start sweating a little bit or, or if I get a retwist and then the day after I got work and I'm working a little bit and I start sweating a little bit, it can start itching, okay? And I ain't gonna lie, like, probably, like, most dreadheads know this. Like, day three, day four, your retwist, that you gotta do the little all day, hitting your head, right? That's the itch, okay? Because your shit be itching. Um, especially after retwist, it could be the gel caking up in your shit. It could be sweat. It could be, a, like, a mixture of all that shit, okay? So if you get a retwist and you sweat a little bit, the mixture of that is gonna make it itch, okay? Also, another thing that can make it itch is stuff that you put in your hair. So watch out what you put in your hair. Um, another thing is watch out for flakes, okay? That's why I personally, I don't put too much stuff in my hair because I don't like to have flakes in my head. I used to have flakes kind of bad. I ain't gonna lie. Like at the beginning when I had dreads, I had a lot of flakes in my shit because I used to pit shit in my hair, like wash it. But I probably didn't rinse it out good, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you watch out for what you are uh, putting in your hair because you don't want flakes and shit. I'm glad I don't have to deal with it. I don't re I rarely get flakes at this point. So <laughs> the next one I have on my book is 
tough to wash, okay? It is tough to wash dreads, I'll be honest with you. Especially, I ain't glad the longer they get, the harder they are to wash. That's why, personally, I don't wash them myself no more. Whenever I go get a retwist, I get them washed. That's the best way to do it. I recommend that for anybody that has dreads because if you're doing it at home wash, you, I don't know, unless you have somebody do it for you, you're not, you're not getting everywhere, you feel me? You're not, I'm, I'm gonna just be honest. Cause there's been times where I didn't wash my dress for like 15, 20 minutes straight in the fucking shower. I get out and there's still soap in my hair, bro. I don't understand it, okay? So I will recommend just getting your shit washed by like a, a professional uh, loctician or or have like a family member do it for you like from a different angle so they can per like, you feel me? See it on the outside, you feel me? Cause it can really be hard to wash your own dreads, especially the longer they get. As they, if they short, it's easy as hell to get all the soap out of there, but these long ass dreads, bro, it be soap all in that shit. So, yeah, I recommend you getting your shit washed by a loctician like me. Um, and the last but not least con I have on my list for dreads, I haven't went through this yet. I don't plan on going through it anytime soon yet. But hard, they are hard to remove. Okay, dreads are very hard to remove. Um, I watched a lot of videos on like people removing their dreads. I used to watch Gunther the Great. Great locks. He got a couple different channels. Light skin dude with dreads with glasses. Um, he taught me a lot on my dreads. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to Great Great Locks. You feel me? And removing dreads could be very very hard. I seen people combing them out. Like the dude I said I watched on YouTube, Great Locks. He literally combed out his dreads, bro. Like combed them out, and like it literally took him like what he said like two weeks because like it, it's it's gonna take too fucking long. Like I ain't like one dread gonna take like an hour, bro. One dread gonna might take like thirty minutes, bro. 20, 30 minutes. You feel me? And then you gotta move on to the next one. So, and then you gonna have like some dress that's combed out and some dress that's not. So you gotta braid that hair. It's just a process in cutting and trying to remove these. Also depends on how you wanna remove them. Obviously, if you wanna cut them, it will probably be a faster process. But if you wanna comb them out, they're gonna be hard as a bitch to remove either way. So that's definitely a con. But that's the last con. Now let's get into the good part of the video. Let's get into the cons on having dreadlocks. But the first pro I have is I feel like dreads are very versatile, you feel me? I feel like dreads are very versatile. You can put them in different styles, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can if you really wanted to, you can change your look up. I can change my look up every fucking day if I really, really wanted to. Like, one day I can have half up, half down. I can have a ponytail to the back, ponytail to the top. I can have it down. I can put it in two ponytail. I can do, you feel me? I can do different things. I can go get braids. I can go get two strand twist. I can damn near do anything I want with my dreads. I feel like dreads are very versatile and I love versatile things. So yeah, that's definitely a pro for me. For the second pro, we have the cool factor. The cool factor is kind of like, I kind of worded it like that. It's cause like, it is like the cool factor. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like if you got dreads, you just kind of look cooler, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Like I feel like when I had my fro, I kind of looked at like a kid and shit. I feel like once I got my dreads, if it, it, it just fit my face so i just feel like it makes you look cooler and like like when i'm working and shit it'd be customers just saying hey bro i fuck with your dreads and i'm like oh shit good looks like that's just cool you feel me it's cool that people a lot of people compliment me on my hair too you feel me just because of the length um they compliment me on my hair so uh that is the cool factor people complimenting you and yeah it's a cool factor for sure next pro i have is save money i know one of my i know one of my cons was expensive but it could save you money if you do it right. I ain't gonna lie. Like me personally, I don't get retwist a lot. You okay? I don't get retwist a lot. I go like every three months, two, three months. You feel me? So that ain't that bad. Like 100 every three months ain't bad for your hair. And I barely get hair. That's another thing. I barely get haircuts anymore. I ain't gonna lie. Once you get dressed, bro, and your shit get this long, if you don't got a retwist, you don't want to cut. Like I ain't gonna lie. It, I don't know why I feel like that, but I don't be wanting haircuts unless I had a retwist at this point because. I don't know. When I get a cut and I don't got a retwist, I don't really be doing shit with my hair. So you can't tell I got a haircut. So I ain't gonna lie, I save a lot of cheese. Like I used to go to the barbershop every every other week, bro. Like dead ass with the fro. When I had the fro, bro, I used to have to go to the barbershop every other week to keep my lineup straight, bro. Now like I can't keep doing this shit. So I got dreads. Now I can save money. I don't gotta go to the barbershop a lot. I don't even gotta go to, I don't even gotta get a resource a lot, if you wanna be honest. Like, I really just be getting my hair done for like events or like, or something coming up. You, you know what I'm saying? But I always try to gap it out at least two to three months because it's not healthy to get resource a lot, okay? So don't get resource a lot out there, please, because you gonna fuck your dress up. 
The next pro I have is keep you warm, okay? It keeps you warm. I know that was a con for me that it can make you hot, but can also be good at times. Like in the winter time, I live in Michigan, so get cold here. You might live in fucking, you might live in fucking Dubai or something. My bad. You feel me? It might be good weather. It might never, you might never even seen winter in your life, okay? I'm sorry, but me personally, I go through winter. I go through the winter, so I hate the cold. So I love to stay warm. So it fit me in that aspect as well. I hate to be cold, so it keeps me warm. I just throw a beanie on. You feel me? Throw the beanie on over the dreads. Keep my. It keep me closer to my face. I keep. You know what I'm saying? It keep me warm. Okay. It keeps my face nice and warm. I ain't gonna lie. It's a nice little face warmer. So yeah, that's definitely a pro for me. Last but not the least, I have time saver. Okay. This is definitely a time saver um, for a lot of reasons. Back when I had my fro, I used to wake up half head mad at nigga. I ain't gonna lie, half head mad at I gotta get up, I gotta pick that side out. That shit hurt, right? Ah, ah, that shit hurt, that shit hurt. I ain't gonna lie, combing out naps, nigga, that shit hurt. Gotta comb out your naps, you gotta make sure you gotta be even. You gotta pitch some shit in it so it won't look so dry. I mean, my shit be looking dry now, but I have dreads, that's the, you feel me, that's how it's supposed to look, but with a fro, you can't have like a dry looking fro. So like, I used to want to put shit in my dread, I mean my fro, and like, I, I could just tell I didn't fuck with my fro. I, I used to try new shit like getting S curls, and like, I just didn't like my, I just didn't like the fro. I didn't like the look on me, like, I was just like, I low-key don't like my hair. I started like, wanting to wear hoodies a lot. I started wanting to wear hats, like headbands, just not to, so people just couldn't see my hair. Cause I didn't really like it, okay? And then I cut it, I had low hair, I didn't like the low cut. Niggas was smacking my head in school and shit. Y'all some bitch ass niggas for that, I ain't gonna lie. I don't, and I still remember where y'all was too, for sure. But I used to wear the headband, you feel me, over the little ball cut. And I was like, you know what? I think dreads is my way to go. Like everything was leaning in that direction, I had to throw. I start twisting it up, and I was like, I look, he like the twist. I like the, I like the twist look on me. So I got the dreads. If I was to pick a couple people that inspired me to get dreads, i probably say like XXX, Tatashi Yon. Probably low key just him. Him. I was a big fan of X around the time I got my dreads. So it was definitely him. Um, I got my dreads before a lot of the other people. So it was definitely just X. I ain't gonna lie. He definitely inspired me a lot. And then I was just, I ain't gonna lie. I used to just watch a lot of dread videos. So just to, like, just to watch them, like just to be entertained. So I was always kind of interested in dreads, like on how to get them. I'm like, how do people even get dreads? And then I wanted them, so it was just a cool thing to do. All right, y'all, those are my pros and cons on having dreadlocks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm trying to get more consistent for you guys. I'm trying to get more versatile for you guys. I'm trying to post different content, vlogs, sit downs, gaming. Make sure I check out my live streams. I've been going live, bro. You feel me? I've been playing Star Wars Jedi. I got like four parts on that. I've been playing Demon. Well, I haven't played Demon Slayer on stream in a while, but I played Demon Slayer. A while back i'll dinner bring back a part two tonight if y'all want i have to come out and drop for y'all man i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did do me a little quick little favor smash that like button leave me a quick little comment down below hope you guys have a nice blessed day i love you guys till next video you dig